Hi, here we are again. Isn't it amazing how quickly these lessons come around? Subject for today is being present, you know, which when you think about it, we're talking about how quickly these lessons come around. Part of the reason that time moves so quickly is we're not paying attention. So this week what we're on about is how possible is it for you to get still and be in the moment. Research tells us that if we discount the time that you spend regretting the past and anticipating the future, then around about 6% of your available time is there for spending in the moment or, as they say in the vernacular, in the present or in the moment. Now, the truth is, the really, only, really the only moment of power that you have is right here, right now. Now, if you've got as far as you have in your life with 6% of your available time being devoted to actually making something happen, then congratulations. Imagine what you could do if you could double it. What does that mean? In practical terms, it doesn't mean going and spending weeks sitting on a mountain, eating one apple a day, a bowl of rice and focusing inwards and concentrating and being in the moment. It doesn't mean stealing your thoughts so there's nothing there at all, because if there was nothing there, how would you know anyway? Really what it boils down to in practical Western terms is this. How often do you take a moment to notice the moment? So here's an exercise for you. Pick half a dozen times in your day, perhaps when you get in the shower, maybe when you leave the house, maybe when you jump in the car and put the keys in the ignition, maybe when you get home, maybe just before you eat something, uh, perhaps just right in front of a cup of coffee or whatever it is. Pick half a dozen times in the day where you just stop, be still and check in with yourself. Ask yourself how you feel. What's going on in my body right now? What can I notice around me right now? Just take the moment, not a month. So look around, you know, what's the weather doing? Am I okay with that? Am I not okay with that? How do I feel? Bring yourself into the moment and as you do, and you only need to take a minute, maybe that's all. In fact, I reckon smokers have got an advantage here because their biology, their addiction, speaks to them a dozen times during the day and says, go outside the building, stand still and take a moment just to be still. Now, it's unfortunate they get into a drug-induced state. However, you know, it might be a good move if you followed the smokers outside, walked to the other side of the street, stood underneath a tree, and while they had a smoke, you just took the time to be with the tree, be with the air, be with whatever it is. Because what will happen is over a period of time, and I suggest to you it's only going to take a day or two, what will happen is that you'll start to get tuned into the wonder of the world and you'll start to realise what a miracle your life is and what a golden opportunity everything is. That, in contrast to busy, 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 get to the end of the day, oh, what about me? What about some time for me? Six minutes a day, man change your life. See you next week.